On behalf of Dynamic CIO, Google Cloud, and Media Agility, I welcome you all. I'm Ashwini Mishra, Executive Editor at Dynamic CIO, and I will be your host and moderator for this session. Business is changing. Disruptions are coming faster than expected. Today, there is an agreement on two things. First, the world will never be the same again. And second, from a business perspective, the transformation that we have seen over the last two years will not be temporary. Business technology leaders have got up to speed and deepened their understanding in these changing times as they innovate for future growth. In this episode of Meet the Digital Thinkers, we have with us Purple, a company in the online beauty space that has differentiated itself by providing consumers with personalized customer experiences. Founded in 2012, Purple has emerged as one of the largest online beauty players in India, serving millions of customers every year. According to a 2021 report by Avendus, the online personal care and beauty market in India is expected to reach $4.4 billion by 2025. In October last year, Purple achieved an annualized gross merchandise value of Rs. 1,200 crores. And the focus now is to continue the momentum and achieve greater market share. For Purple, the business growth and expansion along with the product level changes like hyper-personalization has been enabled by a deep partnership with the Google Cloud Platform. In today's conversation, we will try to unravel the story behind the scenes, look at how Purple planned its growth, migrated to Google Cloud, and how the business trajectory has taken off. To speak about Purple's formative years and how it has managed to reach a leadership position today, we have with us Shrenik Shah, Head Data Engineering at Purple. Shrenik has around nine plus years of experience in the software development space, with problem-solving skills and proven experience in creating and designing software. He has demonstrated ability in building horizontally scalable, robust, and real-time systems. Prior to Purple, Shrenik was associated with Book My Show. Welcome, Shrenik, to this conversation. Thank you, Ashwini. Thank you. And to share you. how Google, plat well, Google Cloud Platform is enabling companies like Purple, we have Chandrasekhar Purandare, data analytics specialist at Google. With an experience of around 22 years, he has led large and complex digital transformation programs. He has a prolific record in driving the enterprise cloud data strategy and cloud data platform adoption. <clears throat> Sorry. Welcome, Chandrasekhar. It's good to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks, Ashwani. Shwanik, let's uh, hear from you first. As a multi-brand beauty startup in India, that markets cosmetics and wellness products purple has carved a niche for itself can you take us through the pur purple's journey over the years yeah 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 thanks thanks for the question so purple was born with a vision of an inclusive and affordability uh with an accessible to all the customer so uh, we started as a brand uh, where we have built a lot of things over our plan so we start with uh, we have started with a, a First agenda was to make it accessible, then affordable, and to all. So right now, Purple is uh, Purple is serving 18,000 pin codes uh, to all the customers around it. Uh, now with the remote areas as well, customer can order a place an order on a Purple and we'll get it delivered. Uh, as you mentioned earlier as well, founded in 2012, Purple has seen a growth and uh, what we are seeing right now is seven million active users on our platform with thousand plus brand and 50 plus product uh, uh, our, our focus area or what we have grown over the past 70 percent are from tier two and tier three cities uh we 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 demographically capture everything so the most of the group the age group we target is 18 to 35 uh purple has scaled successfully in a digital first brand as well like good wives ny bay and right now the revenue is 150 cr for good, good wives. Uh, Purple has also been focused around the customer. We are a customer centric company uh, where we have demonstrated high personalization, uh, digital experience to our customer by providing a good recommendation, search, uh, purchase behavior, and all of those stuff. Uh, 
we have been in the market for a long time and now we are at 200 and 2400 employees is our strength uh, our core focus is like customer and we try to deliver our best to the customers so personalization is the key area where we look after and do a lot of innovations in those lines so this is bit about the purple and how we have grown in the past years that's fascinating to know uh, shenig you know so both in terms of the number that you shared and the the focus that uh, purple has for its customers so yes as you rightly said it's all about creating that personalized personalization uh, piece which is uh, really essential uh, in, in 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 the online space and across i'm, I'm sure uh, uh, you know the, the other question that i had was around technology usage shenik you know we are living in a world yeah. where technology today has become the key driver for business growth and success however yeah. having the right solution and the right partner in this journey is absolutely essential now mm. purple found itself uh, looking for a better partner to enhance its tech and distribution platforms what were some of the unique needs in your growth trajectory that led you to choose google cloud over other solutions and also how did having a partner like media agility help you in this transformation uh so right now when i when we discuss about tech yes tech industry is booming and in the highly agile manner right now agility is the need and uh to to serve that agility in the business as well we were looking out for an opportunity who can help us to solve our problem and we have the unique problem it's not a traditional problem uh there were a multiple problems like how we how we are going to scale up our system how we are going to design in a better way how we are going to implement lot of new ideas so uh, google cloud was the one of the partner and google cloud help us to achieve all those challenges uh purple onboarded media agility for the smooth sailing with the gcp suite uh the migration and adoption we followed a 8020 rule where migration teams spent 80% of time in just a planning and then rest of the 20% was in implementation because of the ease we had uh and media agility helped us to achieve that with our google cloud as well so uh, our business goal is to expand and scale up at the, at the same time because our user base is increasing and we want to give that seamless experience to our customer so that was our core idea and then google cloud was a perfect fit because of the product we are looking at and the scale we are at and we what is our growth trajectory looks like so that is the arrangement what we have right now well right. so interesting you know so you touched upon the agility being one of the key drivers and also the yeah. scale to meet uh growth and also to uh implement new ideas right let me have uh, chandrashekar also join this conversation chandrashekar you know uh, google cloud has been working with customers across industries trying to figure out the best way to handle the new normal uh, what have been some of the areas or unique features through which google cloud platform helped purple to get more out of their existing it infrastructure and expand towards faster digital in innovation great so if you ask me if the retail industry has gone into various changes in last two two and a half year like during the covid uh, time frame and even after the um, covid uh, is uh, like now it is recovering so in the recovery phase also we have seen lot of changes so today if you ask me primarily the customer expectations are really high and they are expecting the completely personalized experience and that is disrupting the entire retail value chain so not only one part or the other part of the retail in the value chain but the complete value chain uh, needs to be disrupted and to actually come up with that kind of fundamental change right the organization like purple need to completely reimagine adapt and transform all parts of their business in order to stay competitive so to meet to their customer expectations and staying competitive what purple need to really do and undergo a large scale transformation and if you ask me personally uh, any fundamental digital transformation is based on the completely organized wide or the enterprise wide uh, technical uh, strategy and that technology driven strategy actually drives digital transformation so at the heart of that technological uh, transformation uh, there is there was the google cloud and as you prepare uh, the purple prepare for uh, modernizing building and scaling their entire business for the future we help them in this entire journey and uh, google cloud actually has the 
मल्टीपल रिटेल ऑफर्स एंड मेनी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव सेट ऑफ सोल्यूशन एक्चुअली दैट एनेबल्ड पर्पन टू क्विकली टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ द गूगल क्लाउड कैपेबिलिटीज एंड वी हेल्प देम बेसिकली इन देयर स्पेसिफिक वी आइडेंटिफाई स्पेसिफिक बिजनेस यूज केसेस एंड वी हेल्प देम टू एक्चुअली अचीव दोज बाय टेकिंग द एडवांटेज ऑफ द एजिलिटी एंड द पेस ऑफ दिस development and we help them in all of these uh, retail value chain area be it like the uh, customer acquisition be it customer retention gain their customer loyalty or improving the logistic distribution or even the delivery and uh, we help ultimately to build that omni channel commerce experience for the purple and uh, that help actually uh, through the uh, having the modern uh, the e-commerce application we help them with the visual product search and the recommendation engine so all these areas the core fundamental pillars of the retail value chain that i think help for this digital transformation to perform right absolutely chandrashekar so you touched upon one key element was you know understanding the complete value chain understanding the business that's a, that's extremely essential for for you know uh, helping out uh, your the, the customers that you have and as you said you know the last two years companies have reimagined restructured rewired whatever we may want to call it and uh, and the focus has certainly been around customer experience so while while companies themselves uh, under underwent a lot of changes the customers also were changing at that point in time and cx or customer experience has definitely emerged as the new battleground it is not about mass personalization anymore shrenik uh, from an ecom retailer perspective hyper personalization and delivering unique customer experiences is key to building engaged customer relationships how has google cloud platform help you to leverage data and drive better decisions for your customers uh hyper personalization uh, so hyper personalization is a need right now we are in the industry which is evolving very fast and Uh, we are we need to be an agile so hyper personalization is the solution because right now what we have seen in the past a uh, customer are now demanding products based on their skin types skin preferences budget there is a lot of things they need a personalization in every point or every touch base uh, it's not like a normal shop where you go and figure it out you get a limited set of product right now it can vary from 50000 product so uh, person are looking at personalization how 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 the product can suit their needs based on the skin types or the budget uh so let me start with a few areas where predominantly hyperfashion is a need right now it's not a, a must uh, it's not a we need we need it or we, we can have it but it's a mandatory for everyone to have the personalization and purple focused on that area to provide a unique experience to our customer uh when it comes to a tech right now personalization is heavily dependent on the data how much data you have how how good you can compute or how you can analyze it so on gcp we are using their managed service like data flow for when it comes to a uh, uh, transmitting an event we are using popsub then data pro then there are a lot of lot of managed services we are using so uh, i'll give you an uh, number so we every day we process 100 million events to just curate the data for a user and create a personas and get a personalized experience to an end users as i mentioned earlier as well okay, we have 7 million active users monthly so we need to serve them a unique personal personalized experience so that we might need to crunch a data we we need to process it we need to transform it lot of stuff we need to do it with the help of gcp we are able to do it very easily when it comes to crunching of tbs of data we can easily do by using data pro as a service and at the same time we don't have to worry about scale we don't have to worry about how we are going to spin it up uh, or uh, anything in related to infra part because we are using a managed service and it can process tbs of data very easily we don't have to worry about it uh, i just wanted to touch base on one of the service which is like data stream which was recent uh, in the product catalog we, we wanted a some real time pipeline without stressing our engineering pipelines or engineering systems how we can do it Google helped us with the data stream with the help of media agility. We came to know, yeah, there is a new service which is coming up, which was a data stream. By help of data stream, we are now able to process real-time data without stressing our engineering infra and providing a personalized experience to our end user. Mm -hmm. Also, especially when it comes to a tier two and tier three market, we need to have differentiator. Every market is different. Every person is different. Every demographics are different. So accordingly, we need to process the data and all those stuff. 
so by help of gcp we are able to do it very smoothly when it comes to uh, transforming the data uh, we are using data flow as well uh, then there is the cloud composer as well lot of stuff we are using uh, which helped us to scale and also when it comes to analyzing the data we are using bigquery as well uh, and and big table as well when it comes to a quick serve to a user or what they are asking for uh, so right now this is this is our core and we want to give that best experience shopping experience to our customer where they come to a purple they visit a website they will get whatever they was looking for and then with the help of tech behind it we are able to solve it as tech is the need and the backbone and we are supporting our customer to get whatever they are looking for on the platform absolutely yes so you know mining and analyzing huge amount of data is extremely uh, critical shenik you know and also as you mentioned initially you know with with the demands of the customers changing based on their needs based on their budgets or their locations you really need to have those insights quickly you know and to meet their their needs uh, you know while you touched upon the analytics piece how how are you looking at uh, artificial intelligence uh, or machine learning uh, you know uh, to create value and deliver new experiences for your customers and deliver authentic business insights okay so here at purple we are a customer centric organization as i mentioned earlier as well i am i'm touching it again because we are customer centric organization any business metrics we have that revolves around the customer our goal is to how we can serve customer better or whatever they are looking at we need to serve them that is our metric and while analyzing the data and adopting a new technology our focus is changing every time because uh, it's a trend we need to look at a trend and accordingly we need to make a decision so so artificial intelligence and the ml is a need where with the help of that we are able to uh, gauge that trend and help our customer to achieve it so directly or indirectly we are looking at how we are going to serve end user by using our ml so it can it, the algorithms can be very simple or very complex as well uh, we can look at the search word as well or we mine a data and correlate like a, a, what is customer is looking at and how we are going to help them so uh, this is bit about how we are helping it so at the end of the day we want to serve our customer that is our priority so right now what we are trying is there is a try on feature what we are trying to introduce so whenever uh, you want to try something you can try it out on your face and then you can buy it that will give you an really experience where you can actually feel it then another is profiling we are profiling every users based on their behavior so that we can recommend a good product uh, also we are working on inventory forecasting with the help of demand and supply we can forecast and we can quick deliver whatever the product is needed and by by doing lot of stuff in forecasting we can we will be able to serve really fast whatever the customer is needing for also we are going to introduce really recommendation or hyper personalized content to end user so uh, right now content is like it can be anything but availability or accessibility is a problem where user is not getting it so we are trying to make it more personalized based on user by using our ml or ai and then according to that we will serve it to our end user so this is a bit about ai and ml what we are doing and how we are going to solve our problem mentioning could you just elaborate on the hyper uh, personalized content piece because that that's very interesting uh, to know uh, uh sure i'll do it so uh, what uh, i'll give you just glimpse of it and the detail you can uh, look at the platform so uh, right now content can be of any type and there are vast content we have a variety of the content and the number is also growing so uh, by based on your purchase history or based on your behavior or from where you are coming from uh, we can determine by using our ml saying what problem you are suffering from and we are going to give you that content it can be via push it can be via email or it can be on our platform as well so the you don't have to struggle or you don't have to uh, browse product discovery is again another area right. so by helping this data point we are going to target you or we are going to give you a right content so that you can we can solve your problem uh, with a with a varieties of data point we have so this is going one step you know closer to the customer you know in a yes. way and trying to yes. uh, I, i would rather put it as 
making making their unmet needs or or uh, uh, you know possible so that's that, that's how i would like to put it uh, shenik yeah better word uh, so what we are looking at uh, we want to solve a problem for a customer how we can do it uh, uh, if you are looking at something and we can recommend you that or we can give you the blog or what we can give you a video or tutorial about that product what you are looking for that will be really nice because we are solving your problem with Absolutely. reducing that friction you don't have to worry about because we are there for you that is what is our agenda and we love to be a customer centric and we listen to a customer uh, so this is one of the area we are actively working on right 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 Rajendra Shekhar, sorry to keep you waiting for a long time there. Uh, while Shrenik did mention uh, about how Google Cloud Platform is enabling people, you know, to derive, uh, to get value out of the data and uh, you know get the right insights. Now, how how are you also helping people to experiment with application development without resource constraints? Yeah, precisely. So what Google is doing is basically Google. Uh, cloud enable like exceptional digital transformation experiences for purple during the peak shopping periods without sacrificing the any performance or any uh, reliability so keeping the same performance same reliability when there is a spike in the load in during some festive season or some marriage season how exactly we can manage that um, without even impacting the uh, their existing apps and the portal so that is how actually we help and what we did now for purple is they can actually leverage the quickly and easily the scale during this peak shopping events and only pay for what they use right uh, previously when you are running your own infrastructure you have to keep it running always but here uh, because leveraging the auto scaling feature of the google cloud the infrastructure is actually scaling out as soon as the load is, is actually down then uh, infrastructure is again bring it to the normal state after handling that load so using that purple uh, i believe is able to almost get the average cost saving of the 45 to 50% uh, as compared to their servers that's huge so, <laughs> yeah yeah and even the purple has also leverage like the srinik has already call out the leverage uh, not even the infrastructure but they also leverage the managed services and when i'm saying uh, saying the managed services those are completely no op solution so you don't have to worry about any uh, sre related thing operation related how i am going to monitor my production environments uh, you don't have to keep the team for managing that infrastructure so leveraging all these uh, uh, managed services what srinik uh, mentioned already like bigtable or bigquery or the leverage pops up for managing as a messaging and eventing service the leverage the data flow for building their data pipelines to bring the data into this platform and leveraging these services what the purple team was able to do is they can actually focus on the core business problem Absolutely. they can focus on the core use cases rather than worrying about all the how to handle this infrastructure put the time energy money onto that they are completely able to divert that effort on their application development and build those new ai ml capabilities like one like the visual search the product search uh, by detecting the tone of your skin uh, how exactly you can actually uh, recommend a list uh, lipstick for your customer those kind of innovative ideas they were able to implement by uh, diverting those effort and energy uh, to their actual business use cases absolutely so they've been able to free up resources save costs and you know focus on critical business areas which really call for their attention rather than you know getting into the nitty gritty of the it infrastructure so the shaker again uh, cloud has become essential to or or i would say central to most organizations digital transformation programs uh, however protecting systems applications and data in the cloud presents a new set of challenges for organizations to overcome how are you helping enterprises to accelerate their digital transformation i'm sure you have touched on some of the points earlier at the same time ensuring that they have a comprehensive and simplified cloud security solution yeah so if you ask me google cloud has historically supported nine business units or the consumer products which are actually having more than billions of users right and these products actually demand really a large highest consideration for the security data privacy and the compliance right. so google's trusted cloud is 
built on the same secure platform so it's exactly the same platform what we are actually providing as a google cloud and that delivers basically this transparency and it also enables the data sovereignty by leveraging uh, a framework or the security model we have and it's a zero trust uh, security model what we called as a beyond core so leveraging this basically we are allowing customer to handle the security data privacy and all their compliance needs right and uh, we not only manage the just the security of the services which you are running into google cloud at the same time what we do is we provide the uh, services and the tools to the customer to manage even the authentication authorization how to manage the permission for your actual application which we are running on the google cloud platform so that is the core advantage of the google cloud services and it allows actually you to manage the role based access control for your applications and handle complete even the data privacy for your applications right so you can leverage uh, there is a tool called security command center in the google cloud it give you one central place from where you can completely control view and manage your entire security landscape for your uh, complete lab, all the solutions what you are running on to google cloud so google cloud is definitely leader in this place in the security and we are actually putting lots of efforts and the there is a huge investment to be a leader and to be always as a trusted cloud for our customers absolutely chandrashekar yes security is a key uh, concern for all of the enterprises you know but at while while the acceleration in digital transformation has has increased its security is one area of which uh, really needs to be uh, kept in focus and you know you can you cannot be uh, complacent to that 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 piece at all and good to know that you are working uh, google has been uh, able to address issues or concerns uh, around data privacy compliance and and security shenik a uh, final question to you uh, moving forward advanced digital technologies are again expected to play a dominant role in in the business how can the partnership between google cloud and media agility help organizations like yours become future ready what are the future plans okay uh, so right now in the dynamic business of an e-commerce agility is again what i'll say agility is needed and we need to ahead of the curve and present to our customer before they think what they need so we const- constantly we are making a progress uh, where we are early adopter of the few services uh, which google serves like data stream we were the early adopter and we make a proper use case and to solve our real time problem we used it now when i see or uh, technology digital technology technology is everywhere every business needs a technology and we need to uh, solve for a customer so basically what we are doing is we are leveraging our technology to solve our customer problem uh, with a product discovery as well and support our deliveries as well so we have lot of in house brands as well which we have built over a past years Uh, that that is because of the tech we have and with the help of google and media agility we were able to crack that technology area uh so i would love to thanks google and media agility team to helping us in transforming whatever was need and helping us to be a future ready so uh, whenever there is a product whenever there is a service what i can see there is an active communication between media agility google and us Okay, this is a new service, and this was a problem we were looking at. How to solve the problem? We brainstorm on it. We come up with an idea. We come up with a solution, and we try to solve a problem, which is which can help our business to grow in the coming years. So we need to be ahead of that curve, and with the with this. So that is what we are looking at. Absolutely, Shanik. So being partners in business, I guess you know that that sums it up. Uh, the whole partnership with with both right thank you shenik and chandrashekar for your views and sharing the possibilities that exist with google cloud platform and also how purple leverages the best of technology to completely augment its operations a quick announcement from my end please do type in any questions that you may have about our conversation today our speakers will be taking the questions shortly now as you all know media agility ha- handled purple as they made the transition to the google cloud platform we now have ipsita aruni associate vice president digital natives for the apac region at media agility her experience as a growth strategist 
for Fortune 500 companies has helped media agility add more value to their digital services and enable them to bring rapid digital transformation for their customers. Ipsita will share her views on the company's digital innovation expertise and also highlight some customer case, uh, customer success stories. Over to you, Ipsita. Thank you so much, Ashwini. Uh, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, very glad to be part of this forum. Uh, just give me a second to bring up my uh, slide deck. All right. Yes. So um, we are a niche cloud consulting and modernization company, and uh, we're 500 plus people strong, but we uh, maintain a very close-knit culture of innovation and collaboration that enables us to be very agile. Now, uh, you'll see that we have received several different specializations over the years. We've also been awarded Partner of the Year for 2019, specifically marketing analytics. Now, there are focused solution sets across all of these different areas that we provide, and we have uh, various pod structures that enable our teams to plug into a client team, to a Google team, and cross-collaborate through various different phases. Uh, we have received specializations for machine learning, location-based services, infrastructure, data analytics, application development, and marketing analytics. And we continue to add to the list over the next months. Um, our team is strongly certified, as you'll see, 370 plus Google Cloud certifications and counting. On average, you'll see everyone in our engineering pods will have one to two certifications each. Now, it's a very agile company. Uh, in Gartner's recognition for us as a niche player uh, in a magic quadrant. This was for 2021, um, and the ranking was based on our ability to execute and completeness of vision. So we are strongly positioned towards uh, becoming uh, either a visionary or a leader as we uh, accelerate our ability to execute in markets, uh, and that comes with scale. Now, uh, since we are a niche company, we do handpick a few solution sets where we develop deep expertise areas in, but we do provide a T-shaped model. We provide a breadth of expertise as well as, as, well as depth in a few solution sets. Now, these are a few of our logos and customers uh, in the Asia Pacific region. You'll see a lot of enterprise customers, especially in financial services, max life, government bodies like NSE, and you'll see a lot of digital natives here. My specialization is digital natives, so I'm particularly excited to talk about what kind of work we have done for digital natives, in particular within retail and e-commerce. Moving on, this is the end-to-end -end, uh, solution set that we provide to our client. We can start and plug into any phase in this journey to provide either consulting or end-to-end -end implementation services. Let me start at the top. Uh, this is broken down into an infrastructure vertical, a data vertical, security, productivity and collaboration, and then cross-pillared uh, cross categories. Within infrastructure, you'll see that uh, we focus on lift and shift uh, cases like application migration, uh, backup, DR, archival, managing high-performance computing solutions, but we also help clients modernize and containerize their workloads um, transform their monolith applications into microservices through application modernization, build their Apogee model and translate it in a multi-cloud environment. The second category is data. Um, this is pretty holistic. It starts with uh, broader database migrations and data management strategies, moves on towards pipelines and data analytics, and in the end we have visualization solutions as well as artificial intelligence or machine learning solutions. This would take the form of starting out with very raw data coming in from various sources, whether it's real time or in a batch format. Uh, it can be asynchronous or synchronous um, to be specific. Now, we perform the pre processing and the feature engineering on these initial raw data sets, implement a variety of transformer or estimator models via solutions like data proc or data flow, then create those streamlined batch and streaming pipelines that will then connect with. Uh, uh, compendium of machine learning models that our clients will like to build on Google Cloud. And that is the benefit that we bring to the fore because we help you uh, shorten the time to market for these models. As you may know, 
machine learning is not a one-time exercise. You have to co continuously evolve as your customer evolves and continuously update those models. So solutions like Vertex AI come into play here wherein we start building out these end-to-end -end pipelines for data and try to monitor and map various different kinds of models for one particular use case. The one with the best features, the best optimizers, that are the one we choose at the end of the day. Um, and then towards the end, plug into management dashboards for uh, real-time reporting and uh, risk management. Now, I spoke a little bit about what kind of solutions we offer. Um, you'll see a little more detailed view here within each category. Um, the five categories here, infra or app mod migration and modernization, that covers VM or bare metal migrations, um, EKS to GK migrations, uh, which is AWS to GCP, serverless modernization as well. Within MLOps and AI, you'll see services like Document AI, Vertex AI, and Recommendation AI coming into play. On top of this, we do offer custom-built models to our clients as well, uh, if they would so prefer, and help them with the entire exercise of uh, cleaning the data set, pre-processing, creating features, etc. Data warehouse modernization, a very vast category, easier said than done, multiple months to implement, to design and implement. Um, so Redshift or Teradata to BigQuery is one of the uh, hot use cases in the market. Batch and streaming pipelines have been around for a few years, but you see so much innovation coming to the fore in um, the last few years that we have to continuously upgrade and modernize the current pipelines that our clients might have built a couple of years ago. Um, and services like Data Stream and Data Flow help us do that. Data management with Looker, Data Studio, whichever is a vital um, tool here um, that can be performed as well. On the side, we do provide managed services to operate on the cloud, manage your applications, simplify and optimize your cloud consumption. Um, and this can take the form of inbuilt solutions, reports, dashboards that GCP provides, or we can help you build custom models as well. Workplace Transformation Suite uh, incorporates uh, things like Google Workspace, support for change management, et cetera. Now let's move on and talk about a few customer success stories in the retail and e-commerce domain specifically. This case study is related to infrastructure modernization for an e-commerce client, um, eShop Box. Media Agility uh, helped them transform their infrastructure and server technology, which was very resource intensive, demanded a lot of time to manage and maintain, uh, and free them from performing the day-to-day -day infrastructure maintenance uh, operations. Now, we didn't have any downtime during the migration or affect the current VAU services, uh, which was critical, um, and everything that was done as part of uh, implementation ensured that the planning, coding, testing, the entire life cycle for SDLC deployment production all happened in one go. So um, it all starts with the design process, uh, which happens during the initial discovery sessions. So we sit down with our client holistically, understand their current estate on either AWS or any other cloud, and then map it to corresponding services on GCP. Uh, we have very senior technical architects deployed during this phase, which ensures that the plan for migration is already uh, written in stone before we start executing or implementing any of the migration waves. The key success factors here, uh, we have engineers with over 300 cloud certifications, so it definitely helps us hit the ground running. And we have very focused expertise that uh, enables us to produce innovation-centric outcomes to maximize particular metrics around ROI and business impact. Uh, we also maintain a highly collaborative model uh, and responsiveness throughout uh, various time zones um, with global clients. Um, the business impact can be quantified um, in the metrics shown here. So the historical two-year growth rate that Isha Box had experienced, we enabled them to achieve that within three months. Uh, every new feature was rolled out within a matter of two weeks. Uh, we also help them abstract and be on the line platform, manage it in a serverless model, uh, and ensure that they are built for exactly what they use, incorporate discounts through CUDs, et cetera. The second client that you see here is Snapdeal. Uh, this is a Google workspace solution that we had implemented for them. Uh, the problem statement was that Snapdeal's employees found that the limited email storage size was impacting the daily business. Uh, they were also maintaining two domains, wanted to streamline it, use only one. Uh, we conducted a variety of tests based on a list of criteria that included stability, security, and ease of use. Um, and then Google's dedicated IT support team also provided technical support to the in-house team uh, that was working with the Snapdeal um, client. 
Now the implementation process began with um, understanding the requirements, mapping out the current pain points for senior management, and then uh, drill it down layer by layer throughout the rest of the company. The entire migration was completed only in a month, um, and this was a huge success story for us. Now we do have an expertise in workplace. We have a badge awarded for that. Um, and the primary business impact here was a boost in email storage, uh, a very streamlined singular communication collection platform, uh, which was highly productive, highly efficient, highly secure, greater flexibility and access controls around what can be visible to whom within the organization. Uh, this also enabled faster and better decision making for the management team. Now we have a third case study here. It's a non-referenceable client, but it's a, um, uh, it's a very large retailer based in North America. Uh, they also have a digital footprint. Now, um, the challenges that the client faced were mostly around visibility into what was the intraday store traffic volume, number of sales, conversions, and store managers had uh, no way to understand these uh, numbers in real time and make decisions to uh, improve uh, any particular metric. So there was, uh, in all in all, there was no aggregate way to benchmark a day's performance, manage it a store by store basis, understand which stores were profitable, which was driving higher traffic, what sort of categories were driving those traffic. And this was the pain point we set out to solve. We designed and developed a solution um, to merge data from various data silos, create a very strong data foundation, and the higher order objective being drive real time and Sites with streaming analytics. The solution that our team created ingests real-time data from various uh, data sources related to sales, store traffic, conversions, weather forecasts, holiday spikes, uh, and other historical metrics from hundreds of stores. Um, data flow was used to um, aggregate these data into various pipelines, batch and streaming, and provide real-time ETLs, um, and then feed the data into syncs within BigQuery and Cloud SQL. The solution was delivered within a matter of 15 weeks, and we created a live dashboard to track the store's performances to help management decide where to invest more, where to cut down investment, et cetera. Now, the primary impact was um, can be derived by just looking at the numbers. Uh, we handle more than 50K orders per day on the platform. Uh, there are more than 25,000 mobile points of sale per day that we monitor through the real-time pipelines. Uh, and this really helps uh, derive a very strong product roadmap and understand what to sell in which store, what sort of client visits the store, and how do we uh, personalize each category of merchandise to the segment that is visiting a store within a particular location. That's, that wraps it up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning about the kind of work we have done in e-commerce and retail, um, and I look forward to your questions. Right, thank you, Ipsita for keeping the presentation very focused and highla highlighting media agility's capabilities in the digital space along with the real life stories. That thank you, Ashwini. Helpful. Right, I can see some questions on the screen. Uh, thank you, Olaf, thank you for all uh, who have asked these questions and I'm sure our speakers will uh, take them one at a time. Uh, the first question is directed to uh, Chandra Shekhar. Uh, does Google Cloud Platform offer the same core data storage and virtual machine functionality of AWS and Azure or any other cloud provider. What are GCP's capabilities around big data processing tools, artificial intelligence and machine learning initiatives and container support? Yeah, so uh, though the Google Cloud is the late entrant into market, but I'm actually proud to say that the kind of the platform, the services we provide in the space of the beat like the compute or beat like in the data and AI platform space, it's actually the head to it. And as I was mentioning, right, uh, the services are like internally used by the Google. For example, if I take the few examples, right, which are leveraged by even the purple, the PUPSA and the data flow, this kind of services are internally used by the Google products which are actually supporting billions of users uh, and those products are like Google ads where there is a millions of impression actually following down into system per second. So that kind of volume, that kind of load, these services are tested and we do have like lot similar services 
but i will say in much more simplistic way where other csp they have like the multiple offering for one service like just for storage i have seen for other csp where we have like three or four types of services google actually the whole vision is how we can make that as a simple solution and we can provide that as a service to the customer and that is the whole focus and we have that similar or even sometimes and when it comes to uh, data warehousing right so bigquery is the our core product which is from the google and from beginning uh, from its inception like we are uh, from last 12 years the whole focus on how to basically run the data warehouse in a serverless completely no ops manner where now the other csps are trying to catch up in that space so we actually uh, from initially we have that vision to keep it completely uh, storage isolate the storage completely from the compute and have that complete serverless no ops infrastructure and uh, again the same is uh, true is for the last part the container right so if you ask me the google actually is the completely innovation focused company so if you look at the kubernetes engine that is actually invented at the google and we donated that to the open source community so we are the pioneers and we are actually putting lot of efforts on to or lot of contribution into kubernetes project and you can see the facts and figures on the github how google is contributing but we actually started this and we are the pioneers and because of that we are actually having that age advantage and we are and the leader in the kubernetes space as well right 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 thank you chandrashekar uh uh the other question that we have here is for ipsita customers today would like to explore various solutions to bring innovation what would be your recommendation in terms of prioritizing these requirements great question so innovation uh, is a catch all term for a variety of solution sets uh, that we see in the market it can take the form of smaller pocs around exploring various different uh, solutions around data streaming or vertex ai for ml ops but it can also take the form of longer well thought out uh, data discovery and uh, analytics use cases wherein we sit together with customer teams and holistically understand uh, what is the current state for let's say their uh, data sources and batch and streaming pipelines are they operating using only a variety of simple transformers on their raw data or do they have complex feature engineering teams dedicated towards understanding what sort of correlations exist between data sets how we make sure that there are cross sell and upsell opportunities and are all of these uh, different uh, visualizations being displayed to management on a daily basis uh, so i would say let's start out with a holistic business impact that we have in mind and build backwards from there because we can put together the tools and processes in place but we need to have the objective clear uh, whether it's uh, improving cross sell and upsell revenue or reducing the time to market for a particular product um i would say for innovation specifically we uh, we as media agility do try to understand and assess uh, how the organization is structured with respect to the different business verticals and categories of products that they intend to launch in the future can we design a holistic infrastructure that supports this growth as they scale and also manages their costs so it's essential to have some visualization which is custom enables you to auto tag resources implement Uh, policies to rationalize vms if they are over utilized and so on and so forth um yeah to summarize uh, think about the larger business objective think about data flows uh, how do you want to manipulate your data and think about what metrics you want to show to your management right thank you absita uh, there is a question for for shenik here uh, shenik this is to you uh, how can enterprises get their data strategy right what are the challenges Uh, there is not a straight answer to this that depend upon the businesses you are in uh, but there are a few thumb rules what you can follow uh, so whenever you are uh, capturing a data you need to be very sure how you are going to capture it where you are going to keep it so you need to work on your stacks whatever the data stack you are using or the technology you are going to use you need to pick up based on your requirement so whenever anyone is building it they need to focus on the use case and then they can backtrace it so i'll give you an example if i if we want to capture uh, events and the uh, events are like millions of events we want to do it uh, we can use a pop up pop up is a fantastic tool you don't have to worry about scaling you don't have to worry about anything you can just use it and process it 
now again if you want to process that uh, events and store it in somewhere or keep it in your storage so you can use a data flow as well so in this ma manner you can build your architecture so uh, if you want to capture an event you want to process the live processing and you want to store it so you use a it pops up with a data flow so data flow can easily transform your data and keep it in the storage if you want to query it or if you want to do any any sort of uh, analysis over that data then you can store it into a big query format so that people can use it or they can just try it out with a querying purposes so it it, it will keep on changing uh, depending upon the, your use case or uh, how you are building a solution but few key component will remain the same when it comes to a storage when it comes to your computing when it comes to processing so any anything so for example you are building any ai or ml solution you need to compute a pbs of data so data prop is the solution to build it because you need to compute a pbs of data within a couple of seconds or a minutes and then you need to worry about the scale so this is the tech you are going to use to solve our, your problem uh, you need to look at the solution based on your problem and then you need to figure it out which which is suiting best for you so uh, i'll i'll touch base on the one of the service which i like really right now is the data stream so that service looks from a bin log and pull the sql data and give it to you wherever you need you need it in a queue you need it in the storage if you need it in the big query so that that type of solution you need to figure it out based on your need based on your problem and then you can define a solution around it right right shrenik thank you thank you once again uh, the uh, there are two questions here both are for chandrashekar you know so uh, the first question is for which domains google cloud can be used uh, i don't know if i if i get this right uh, is this around the sectors that google cloud can be used uh, chandrashekar i leave that to you uh, the second question is what does google cloud platform serverless solutions cover does it also allow integration with elastic cloud to support open source search and analytics so they are talking about your first question yes it is aligned to the industry verticals so if you ask me google cloud actually is focusing on multiple industry vertical so we have actually established the solution for the retail industry we have the uh, and we actually come up with this solution we package this solution into bundle thing and we call like that as a retail either retail cloud for healthcare there is a healthcare data cloud which is supporting all the healthcare requirements be it like the supporting the healthcare uh, data interoperability right in terms of having the supporting the fire format supporting the various formats which are used in the health sector and uh, there is also support for the other verticals in terms of the be it like the finance or the packaging and so if you ask me the even in my uh, tenure i have worked with almost i work for the digital native and i have seen like uh, working with multiple customer be it like the inops be it uh, healthcare be it retail so uh, and even media so we uh, closely even work with the media industry solving their challenges in terms of how to manage that large volume of digital contents video Uh, we have the uh, everyone can actually accept the the way youtube deliver the experience for the streaming right and uh, if you compare to that the people are really looking how they can build a something uh, similar solution and we actually have the solution on these spaces for different verticals and uh, even the vertical specific uh, solutions uh, are actually packaged for the different verticals so that is uh, all about the having a focus on the industries and the second question uh, was primarily if you repeat uh, the ashwini the second question was yes i'll do that uh, chandrashekar so what does google cloud platform serverless solutions cover does it allow integration with elastic cloud to support open source search and analytics yeah so as i was mentioning right the google cloud's whole intention is to go towards the completely serverless solution and if we look at that our multiple services are actually on the base of that so starting from the big query which the our core data warehousing solution which support petabyte scale uh, data volumes as well as it is completely no op solution that is completely serverless solution you take pubsub 
uh, which uh, Srinik mentioned. So PubSub is again completely a serverless solution. You don't have to provision any cluster and it's completely a global service. So it leverages uh, internally the, uh, uh, the uh, solution called a spanner internally for managing the data, which is also another horizontally scalable global database uh, management system. And it leverages that internally and it's completely no off solution. You can create a pop up topic and you can push the data into that topic from any region, which is uh, in which the GCP region is available. So that is completely a global solution. You take the example of data flow. So data flow, uh, you don't have to really worry about how many uh, servers I have to, uh, clusters I have to provision for supporting this many data pipeline, what is the load of my ingestion, whether I'm supporting streaming pipeline or batch pipeline, everything is handled for, by the data flow, batch pipelines and streaming pipeline internally, and it will take care of the entire infrastructure, be it like auto scaling, be it backup, disaster recovery, everything are completely managed. So you don't have to worry. And then second aspect, you ask about the OSS. Google is completely a, a focus company on the open source. So we strongly believe in the open source and we are contributing to our open source. And uh, all of most of the services you will see, right, which are part of the Google Cloud. I will take example of some of the services like the data flow we talk extensively. What it le uh, leverages is the something called as Apache Beam, which is a kind of programming model. So you can build your data pipelines using the Apache Beam pipeline and then data flow is just the runner. So once you build your pipeline, you can actually execute into any other runner for that matter Spring or the IBM streamer. You can take it to any runner. We support the Apache Beam pipeline. So that is one example I have given. Uh, another example is uh, we support this complete ETL ELT orchestration uh, using something called as Cloud Composer which is again completely based on the Apache Airflow open source project. So it actually under this use Apache Airflow. So once you build your orchestration, uh, the tags, and uh, you define your configuration for the Cloud Composer, you will be able to easily take it to other platforms which support Airflow. And third is the Docker container or the Google uh, Kubernetes, which is again the great example of supporting the OS. So OS is actually a lot of focus there on the contribution toward the OSS technology and we will be continuing with that. Absolutely. Right, right. Thank you. I think uh, we are out of questions now and we are uh, we have managed to keep the conversations well within the time limit. Thank you all for addressing these questions. It has indeed been an interesting session listening to you all here on this episode of Meet the Digital Thinkers. Thank you, Shenik, Chandrasekhar and Ipsita. It has been a pleasure to host you all today and have your views. We look forward to engage with all of you again in the future. Most importantly, thank you to, your, to our audience who have taken out time and tuned into the session. Till the next edition of Meet the Digital Thinkers, take care. Thank you.